So guys, hope you are doing well. So um, welcome to this channel, and uh, here we are going to start uh, to the tutorial for uh, uh, installing and running a simple counting app in just seven steps. Right? It's just seven steps. So here we are going to start. Installing and uh, running these processes or uh, Flutter or making that app, you know, you basically need uh, one software, but uh, we have three softwares, right? Uh, one will be Flutter, that uh, main software, and second one was, is Android Studio. Android Studio is because uh, if you want to connect to your uh, virtual device, AVD, that is uh, virtual device, you can use uh, Android Studio from that AVD manager or uh, you can directly connect it to mobile phone uh, so that they will not require but, and next is uh, VS code uh, this is the text editor you know text editor you uh, notepad is not a better text editor according to me but uh, in visual studio code you will find many options there extensions like uh, flutter dart they will help you in uh, means uh, anything else so they will help you the uh, visual studio code I am using so uh, these three uh, softwares are required, so I will give them in the description box. Check it out. SDK software development kit in our uh, laptop. Uh, I am using Windows 10 uh, framework. So if you go to search install Flutter, you will find this website. And go here if you're Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, it's all there here. Windows and here you will get a zip file for installing the flutter so i have already installed here uh, so the, now the first main step is uh, make a folder wherever you uh, you think you will st uh, store here i have made this folder and you can see here this is an empty folder so now i will uh, extract this zip file of flutter so if you double click it So simple extract to extract to your folder right so it will be my in desktop and in my flutter all so they will extract the all the uh, functions and the uh, main uh, things there so I'm okay so see you they are installing so now they have successfully extracted the files now if you go and see to your uh, flutter folder flutter all folder you will see here one folder called flutter this is the main part okay and in main uh, the command execution is done actually in this one so this is a windows batch file so now we have to set the environment variables of this one to set that uh, in the command prompt they will able to run properly so this is the path i'm copying here copy and go to environment variables yeah and uh, now you have to go to so You have to click to environment variables and there you have to give the path so I click to new and paste the same one till bin so that they will uh, see the flutter batch file that I showed you okay so now uh, you have to save it okay recheck once it is there or not it's there so okay now if you go to command prompt and see if flutter is successfully installed they will show you the version okay so they will show you this part welcome to flutter and this message they will show you 
and this is the version and these were all these uh, their uh, extra versions they are showing uh, so this was the this step so now we are going to the next step step 2 Studio for uh, the SDK tools and AVD manager uh, that is virtual device manager to launch a virtual device on here right now and so for if you search there and install Android studio they will uh, give you the link you have to go to the software uh, center to uh, download it so we are going to the website here yeah. there is the download options this is the one they are recommending download it I have already downloaded it so this was the one Android Studio okay so now you have to run it just click next next and make sure you select this option Android virtual device that I was talking to AVD manager so if you unclick this, it will be a many uh, problem that main reason uh, for installing uh, Android Studio will be not there. So click this and next, next, install, they will install. So if you see it is completed click to next and finish so they will start Android studio for you so this is the wizard uh, it looks like off from the opening home page and if you click to next uh, you can uh, click to standard also yeah next Make sure you click tick to this button Android virtual device. It is of uh, something 1.4 GB. They will download itself. Make tick next year. Okay, so we are doing this type of settings and finish here. They are downloading that. So by the meantime, they are installing. If you hit uh, as Flutter is installed, uh, we, we can use this command and it has a command called doctor. So Flutter Doctor, if you click, they will show that all setups are ready or not. So as you can see, Flutter channel is uh, installed, and now this is our Android Studio that SDK Manager and AVD if, uh, that is going on to be installed here. They will show you, and this is Android Studio not installed because they are installing right now. And VS Code, VS Code uh, actually I have installed, but the Flutter extension I have not installed. So make sure you install the Flutter extension from VS Code and connect the device. So basically there are four uh, this challenges uh, in Flutter Doctor. If you click all this uh, right, 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 they will configure yeah, and you can create a test app, right? So you can see uh, downloading components is over and they have uh, successfully Android SDK is up to date as we are going to launch mobile app. So Android uh, a software development kit is required for everything. Uh, software development kits are required if you 
go for uh, any other thing they will require ios sdk or uh, any other thing uh, and this one uh, intel xj xm install successfully this is uh, the one if it is not showing in yours uh, it, uh, it may not be a problem but it's installed creating virtual device they will create here android virtual device successfully created now click to finish yeah this is the starting okay now if you go to configure and sdk manager right we have to install a little more things so now they will ask you for uh, which uh, android version you want to install you can see here pi oreo nougat marshmallow but recently uh, they were installing i showed you android 10 that is install status okay now if you show to show package details they will show you some other packages you have to uh, go there and install uh, click 111 again and so now if you go to your sdk platforms is android 10 we have selected is to go to an sdk tools make sure they have already uh, done this or uh, taking options uh, you have to nothing do else here more uh, android emulator they will start android sdk platform tools uh, if uh, it is coming more than one uh, android sdk tools they will show you an option that's not a big problem android sdk build tools this will uh, build your app and this one is very important hex am installer which they recently installed and make sure you click it okay so uh, okay so now if you run flutter doctor again they will show you flutter plugin not installed dart plugin not installed so we will go to this and configure our sdk manager and here you can see plugins right and click to plugins and they are asking us to install flutter and HD, uh, dart so right flutter see 5.5 mb install they will install for you except and they have default tell that the flutter plugin request dart plugin to be installed directly install yes so they will internally download the Dart plugin also. If you now check to Dart, see they have installed successfully. Now we will apply to this. So if you run Flutter Doctor, they will show you all tick marks. Means you are now ready to proceed. Okay so now uh, if uh, here uh, main things is uh, here these two may be errors they may show you some build java not available and make sure you would have java files means java installed jvm so they will as android studio works on java uh, another error you can get it that um, uh, like um, uh, path not set android sdk root path not set but defaultly it has been set by android studio while it was installing but if by the time it's not installed it is in you have to copy this part see users your username app data local android and sdk till sdk you have to copy it and paste it in the environment variables with the environment variable name as android uh, underscore sdk underscore root uh, full in blocks so was uh, launching the SDK manager which we did in step 2 so that was test step 3 now we are going to start step 4 that is the launching the AVD manager right. and if you see uh, if you launch and if you uh, give this play button this they will launch for you and uh, if you see this type of error the emulator process of this AVD was killed means you have not enough sufficient space space uh, in your disk that is a C drive so you have to clean it up first so that it will take uh, from your C drive and they will load that so if you see this error space first and then start okay now if I click to play they are starting my AVD can see here so as soon as they start <laughs> it is uh, so beautiful means they will give you a virtual mobile phone right you can see here they have created us for a virtual mobile phone right you have the power button here and all that you have the options here okay so you have to go with all these settings and real like uh, handy phone you they gave us to 
So if you click to this power button, they will start the phone. You can see this powered by and with your Android 10, the version you clicked on for starting the ABD manager, they will show you that. And uh, they are going to start launching. So guys, this is the one we were talking about, the ABD uh, virtual device. So this, they gave you the real uh, means in real world, we are going to launch a mobile app. So it is beautiful that if we see here only how our uh, feeling looks like and does like. So they are giving this, the battery will be your uh, monitors or a laptop's battery. And now this is the step four. Here we go for step number five that is the next is the app launching so for app launching first we have to build the app right so for building or creating the app flutter has its own command right so it's flutter create the test app as we are going to create a test app as i told you was this a counting app so flutter gives a default counting app to us so with this flutter create test app they will actually build the test app for you in this emulator or your this phone and then we can use the next step to run it and use it okay so now i'm going to enter so they will start building our app you can see creating project test app the name i've given as test app I, I recommend you to go to and make the project means any folder and then go to and cre create a test app so that every apps will be there and before that you go I will show you some things like uh, as I run flutter doctor command previously they were not showing connected device because this emulator was not launched at all now connected device is one available and uh, uh, you can see from flutter devices also so they are uh, running in flutter tools so they are building the app so guys uh, flutter is uh, uh, has built its app completely you can see they have uh, uh, wrote uh, 72 files you can see wrote 72 files and our they have created first uh, they have created our app and you are, they have written that your application code means the main dot file they have written is in test app lib actually all the uh, actually all the files uh, that will be connecting to them are always connected to a folder specific folder in every server you can see or uh, you can see it and for flutter it's lib the lib file and the lib file is the main file for dart because uh, file creating or flutter run when you will create in the next step they will go to the lib folder and they will look for the main dot dart file is there it is not or not from there they will take the code so uh, we are going to st uh, start step number six here final stage that is flutter run so before going to that i will show you what a flutter create test app did so they uh, the build was done successfully in the projects so i uh, they have created this test app folder now if you will go to cd test app Yeah, we are uh, so if you go to this and uh, uh, click to uh, test app they will show you the files they created and as i told you the main dart file they have created in the lib folder if i go to cd lib and i see there you can see here main dot dart come in so if i open this main dot dot in my notepad you will see something like uh, main dot dot sorry yeah you can see the the code they have uh, written for you and now we will use visual studio code uh, to uh, uh, see a better look to this i'm going to the visual studio code file open folder my folder is in flutter all so they will ask for this desktop in my flutter all and my projects test app so select folder 
so they will load all the files here and you can easily see them right they are loading the files and the best thing of uh, Visual Studio Code is uh, means in parallel you can get the terminal also there is no problem in that now they have loaded the files if I go to lib folder dot main dot dot yeah you can see here in the code so uh, I will run this app in my emulator this is my emulator there here so for running it we have to type flutter run and then it will start the first thing that is the running the app Uh, it may take uh, your uh, according to your RAM CPU so uh, it took me around three minutes to do uh, launch this so they launched this built dot apk file means they have built it that apk dot apk as in Android you know all apps are done built in a package that is uh, with dot apk extension so they are installing means the real, real mobile type so they are installing this from the uh, apk file and now they are launching here and as soon you see they are launching they will appear here so this was the final demo that uh, i was uh, trying just to show you in this seven steps this was the app this was the counting demo app uh, that flutter gives defaultly so if you press this button uh, plus 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 you can see it increases this is the counting app that uh, the default uh, flutter provides you can increase and this is the and you can configure too also it is very easy to configure so this was the step six uh, actually i told you to uh, launched in the seven steps but it's launched in six steps that's great so now I will show you some uh, common errors uh, and the next step is to uh, show you some uh, internal things like uh, hot reload and uh, what is that import and all the dart what is the dart interpreters so we are going to start start step 7 so be like uh, unable to determine bundle java version as i told you earlier this will show you the error if your jvm or java development kit jdk is not installed in your computer system because android studio will only work with java as it is uh, inbuilt with java platform so you need a java platform already in your system i have my java platform that's why it was uh, not showing this error you but you may see this error uh, and this one is the another error that i was talking about uh, so this was uh, if your uh, core shows this type of error means they have not uploaded the libraries properly uh, either they have updation problem or the gradle that they are using their problem so better is to close all the things you are running that is the avd and all that shut down your system and relaunch it so after relaunching they will another uh, process they will continue and they will launch for you uh, it, it, this error will be gone that time okay so now the step seven is uh, the hot reloading or the uh, data so what is that is that is simply a language that flutter follows to make it very simpler than other languages that use uh, that is android studio uses uh, java which uh, in higher levels it is uh, much complex so this language is very user friendly so you can see here this type of uh, codes so this import means here they will import from the uh, this uh, file from the flutters uh, actually this file is made by the flutter team so they have inbuilt made a uh, little little files so uh, to help uh, the users so uh, every file should have the main function because the flutter when you flutter run it they will first go to that main dot dart file 
and then they will go to this main function to check and the start this so this run app what it will do is to run app will start your app or your launch your app this is my app and now what is hot reload hot reload means actually uh, in continuous parallel thing they will update you immediately if now I will change here now you see that actually you saw the here the flutter demo page was coming right so I changed this to Russian so they immediately and uh, for flutter uh, hot reload you have the see here flutter run key commands you have to just press R for it they will performing hot reload you can see here and after uh, this is very fast and uh, you see uh, the home page screen uh, changed name from flutter demo page to Russian so uh, this was flutter uh, hot reload this is the main uh, thing and uh, this was the guys uh, uh, if you love this video please like share subscribe my channel and uh, tell any other queries or some errors you are facing and tell me in the comment section that uh, how did you feel and what's that uh, uh, i should uh, improve in it my video so that I will improve myself and uh, in the way I am teaching and uh, thanks for the feedback you will give thank you for watching thanks